go. All right, we got bananas we're smashing up here. And then over here, camera girl. Now, she's smashing these bananas. We're using four bananas because um, they're not giant, but they're good sized bananas. Because we're doing a different recipe here. Tell them about the protein. We're not using protein powder anymore in our cookies because, um, why? Tell me. Because I just don't want the. I drink the calcium at night, and there's no reason to have double protein. And I eat meat, which already has protein in it, so there's no reason to. And you're not going to the gym or doing any kind of exercise that's going to make you build muscle, so we're just wasting extra protein. Mm -hmm. We're going to save it from my protein you're challenge that I'm having after my two-week cabbage soup challenge, right? Yes. Why are you doing a great job on that? Keep that up. That's a little bit of a workout. I can feel the candy girl's muscle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was four bananas. And then they were going to do a little bit more of this, which is the vanilla. Are we going to still try to do the, uh, um, the, uh, oh, that's 350 on the oven, just so you know. Um, are we going to still try to do the snooker doodle flavor or no? Yes, we are. So, as far as I can tell, the only way we can make it snickerdoodle is just to add vanilla and cinnamon. It's really the only way I know how. So, we're going to do, that was about, I'd say a half a, that's probably a teaspoon of vanilla there. And then this right here is, we're going to do about, what do you want to do? About, um... Teaspoon? Yeah, teaspoon. How about uh, a tablespoon? That's tablespoon a long way of cinnamon. It's going to be a lot so I hope. I'll tell you what. How about two tablespoons? No, no, no. One. Yeah, because it's going to go a long way. Let's do a teaspoon. Because uh, it's coming out really crazy and I don't want to dump it everywhere. And then what we'll do is if we don't like it, and you know we will. Yeah. We'll just make another batch later. Yeah. We can't always remake it. Because what we're doing here is that we're trying no protein. We're also doing snickerdoodle flavor for the first time. And then we're also going to use these right here, some... Still cut oats. No, they're not still cut. They're quick oats. Quick oats. Quick oats. Okay. And how much we're going to do... Let me see this real quick. Looks like something you could fill something with and eat. Like dessert. <laughs> Bananas Foster or something. You want to leave the chunks? Nah, you can smooth them out. Okay. I didn't do a very good job of No, you did a great job. It's just some Because chunks. it's going to disintegrate more as you go. Then it depends on if you want to taste the banana or not. And chunks, or if you want me to do this. It just takes I, a little longer. I like them flat because okay. it. Well, tastes speaking good. of flat, um, we're doing no. Uh, you know we're not doing any protein, but we are also doing less oats. I saw the video I made, it was a lot of oats, five and a half cups or something with all the bananas I had. And they were good. They just have a little bit of dryness to them because they were so much there. So it's a good thing you use this scooper and make it round because it literally... Um, soft inside and just nice and crunchy. Actually, it kind of reminded me of like my version of a Ferrero Rocher. Um, if we only had some chocolate, it would have been really, really good. But that's okay. We're doing this. No peanut butter, no chocolate. We're just doing cinnamon and no protein, so no vanilla there. But there is some vanilla in extract. there. Extract. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to do four bananas and we'll do... We'll do one and a half. Half of oats. Of oats. Okay, that's one. perfect. And a half. Now it's going to be very, very running smooth. You can go ahead and stir that up. I know you like doing that. Now you want garlic powder? No. No. No garlic in there. I don't want to taste sweet garlic in the sweet cookies. Sweet garlic cookies. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm just incorporating all my ingredients in here. And we are, and once we're done, I am done with this, we are going to put them on a pan and um, smooth them out a little bit. And then we are going to bake them in the oven. That's right. All right, let me get a little whippy whip right there, garnum. Let me get Let's out of the way. Let's get this out see if it helps. Oh. Just gonna, just gonna do the final edges here. Amber girl's doing a great job. I really, really smashed up those bananas. Yeah. Who wants to see camera girl out there on the grill with me? So it's a better filming. If you do, make comments below. Okay, this isn't gonna be a big batch. Maybe only about six or eight cookies. Yeah, it'll be only six. But that's okay. We're gonna hold this camera girl. I know you're gonna lick it. No. Oh. Not until everything's done. Because I'm going to use it again. Okay. To smooth out those cookies. And we're going to make them in scoop form. But this time they're going to be a little flatter. Yeah, we're just doing a little flatter here. Last time they were a little bit... They were scooped, but they are a little bit big. So we're going to flatten them out just a bit. Yeah. I like the round. I might make a few of both. Let's just try to experiment with both, right? This whole thing's an experiment, yes. right? We're going to do some flat and some big, some, some, uh, soup form. Because they look like truffles. Yeah, there we go. We're going to do some scoop over there. Scoopy scoop. Yeah, there might be a little more than I thought here. Some scoops over there. <laughs> it's a little joke we do. Some scoops right there. Scoops. Scoops up there. <laughs> okay, this is about it right here. We got about maybe two at the most. I might even, let's just try to do this real quick here. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> there we go. And this will be the small one. Matter of fact, let's just leave that little bit for camera to eat. Yes, yes, yes. A little bit of the uncooked product for me. Mm -hmm. That's the camera girl. That's your snack for participation. Snack. Okay, let's get this over here so you can see it. Look, there's a chunk right on that one. I like that. I'll take a chunk of my banana. Mm. And I'll have some three for me to take to work tomorrow since I'm 11 to 9 30. Mm. I got mine. I got mine. Let's put that back in the clean drawer. My camera girl is already the 350 if you want to roll, put that in there. Oops, here. Don't burn yourself. You stick it right there. Just how long are we doing this? 350. 350 for how long? 10 minutes? Let's do 12 minutes. You want to do 12 minutes? Alright, 12 minutes. We'll see what it looks like when we take it out. Alright, the timer just went off. 350, 12 minutes. And there they are. They are. They feel nice and moist. They feel a, little more, a lot more moist than normal. But. Here's what we're going to do. Get it off the top of the way. Get it put away. And then we will try to get them off this paper. They're a lot more liquid. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just. I don't know. 
Yeah, if it gets it can stay like that, we'll take it off. I just don't want to make it a mess. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, perfect. Do the numbers because there's no protein. But these are good, healthy snacks. Healthy earth. You don't want to eat the whole thing if you're looking for any kind of carb issues. But I prefer this over anything processed any day. You already got a taste test from Camera Girl because she ate the stuff that was uncooked, and it's about the same thing. So here we go. There's my round ones, and there's the flat ones. She says she doesn't really want the chunks, but she likes them. I know she does. Otherwise, I'll eat that one, and I'll take those to work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about a half a banana in each one. Half a banana, and then you can do the rest by what I told you. All right, hope you enjoy it. All right, we got camera girls here, and she's going to try these cookies here. All right, there's the zoom on the cookies. They should be cooled enough. She wanted one of my round ones, so I can only take two to work tomorrow, but that's okay. I can take two. Now, there she is. Let's see what you can think of it. Go ahead and try it. Camera girl got a little sun at the pool. You tell me what you think. First, let me zoom in while you're chewing up. Okay, let me see if I can do this with one finger. There we go. What do you think about it? I don't see any uncooked oats. That really oh, looks pretty good. juicy. It was really good, and there was no um, banana chunks this time. It was a lot better, and it was very good and I liked and I liked how the oats were were all mixed together in there and I liked how we added the um, you like, cinnamon you like the cinnamon and vanilla mixture is it like a I like the snickerdoodle or no vanilla extract um, it does it has some um, I have some snickerdoodle flavorings, so not like but it doesn't cookie. taste, it doesn't taste like, it just tastes, to me, it tastes like oats, bananas, vanilla, and cinnamon. Okay, that's all we can ask for, right? But yeah. overall, is it going to be a thumbs up or what? It is. It's going to be a thumbs up. All right. It's going to be one of the cookies that, one of the recipes that I write down in my recipe book. All right. All right, well, thank you very much, Camera Girl. All right, you got final comments? Yes, final comments. To all of those of you who are viewing this video, I will be updating you guys on Wednesday morning about my weight loss goal. And I am shooting for 149, so wish me luck, guys. All right.